Welcome to a brand new episode of Johnson's Court. Today on the channel, I have Tyler Miller. What's happening? And we will be talking about the NBA today. We will be talking about who made the All Star game, and that and that's coming up here soon. Um, we'll kind of go over their stats a little bit, and then we'll t also talk about the snubs on um, just kind of one snub on who didn't make it from the East and the West. Then we'll talk a little bit about the MVP, um, give you kind of the top three runner, top four, um, and who we think is gonna who should win MVP from. Um, you know, who should just be the MVP, um, who's been playing, you know, the best all season long. So we'll go ahead and get it started. And so we will start with the Western Conference and we will name the All-Stars. So the captain of the All-Star team was LeBron James. And the starters for the Western Conference All-Stars is Stephen Curry, Luka Doncic, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, and Nikola Jokic. Tyler, I'm going to start with you here. How do you feel about the All-Stars? I like the picks on the West. I think I don't really think they really messed up at all. Um, in my opinion, I think everyone's balling out. I think the lowest stats would probably be, I don't know what Jokic is. I'm not really sure about his stats, but I think for center, I think about every pick they've got. Besides Luka, maybe they could have interchanged with that. But at the end of the day, I, I, I do like the Westerns for sure. Okay, so you said maybe Luca. So <clears throat> who would you say got snubbed from the Western Conference All Stars? If you had to change one player out of there, who's, you know, who shouldn't have made it? Levine's on the East, right? Yes, he is. Um, that's tough. That's very tough. I really don't. Definitely Dame for sure or Luke. Okay. Yeah, with Dame averaging more points, I think with Luca winning the fan vote, not the overall vote, besides the fan vote, I think Damien could have had that spot. But they already had a guard for sure with Steph Curry had that position, but they could have used him. But with Luca, they're still going to do just as good. But that would be the snub, Damien, for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I kind of agree too. I mean, Damien, I mean, he's been snubbed, uh, I mean, many times before. Oh, yeah. um, you know, just being in the Western Conference with all the All Stars that you have, it's just. Hard to make the All-Star game, but it doesn't really matter because I think it was last year, the year before, uh, the All-Stars were announced. He didn't make it. He drops 50 in the next game. So, yeah. you know, just watch him drop 60 here. So, I mean, any sports bettors out there, you might want to bet on Dame to, you know, maybe <laughs> drop 30 or more. Oh, wow. So, because Dame Hat is averaging 29.8 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, and 7.7 .7 assists, while Luka is averaging 29 points per game, 8-point rebounds, and 9-point assists. Which I know that's almost a triple double, um, but I just think Dame's just he's playing better. I just I mean I know his stats, Lucas stats are a little bit better, but Dame I think he's he's just playing better. He I, deserves I, it, you know. He I think he so. deserves it. How he balls out for the team, he's the star on their team. So, but oh well, you know it is what it is. So you know we'll see what the Trailblazers can do come playoff time. If they're in the playoffs, I have you know no idea what this year brings. Um, very unpredictable. But we will go ahead and. Go to the East, so let me click here. Um, and the All-Stars for that is Bradley Beal, deserved it. Kyrie Irving, Giannis, Kevin Durant, and Joel Embiid. I'll go ahead and start with you again, Tyler. How do you feel about them? And if anybody got snubbed, who got snubbed? I definitely agree the most on Bradley Beal. Like, he's balled out. He's he's always been snubbed in a lot of things, so it's definitely a chance for him to be an All-Star game, a starter. We'll look at his stats real quick. 32.8 point games per game, points per game. Five point rebounds and four point assists. Definitely deserve the spot. Oh, yeah. For, for sure. sure. And I'd say with the snub, I, I agree with Giannis, KD, Joel for sure. But the Kyrie Irving, I think just probably Levine. Zach Levine should have took that spot. Kyrie took out a couple games. And he, he's definitely a fan favorite over Levine. But... His oh. stats are 27.7 points per game. And then he's almost averaging the same rebounds and assists as, um, what, K no, not KD, but um, I think it was not, yeah, Dame. He's averaging about the same, but. Dame averaging a little bit more assists. But Zach Levine, the other averaging almost about the same. I mean, both averaging, Zach averaging 28.5. So one more, one and a half more points. Um, 
5.5 rebounds and 5.2 assists. So, I mean, Kyrie has a little bit more assists, but I mean, you have three all-stars on your team now. So, I mean, you can dish it to whoever you want to. Yep. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, you got Joe Harris shooting lines out, you know, he's a three-point shooter. But, you know, the team's very good all together. Um, but, yeah, very identical stats. So, if you think anyone got snubbed, you think Zach Levine did? For sure. And I know that, like, Kyrie got picked. It was definitely a fan favorite, in my opinion. Oh, for sure. I mean, everyone loves Kyrie. Everybody loves he's Kyrie. got some of the best handles in the game. He's got the handles. People wear his shoes. I mean, he's got it going. He's balling him. out. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah, I, I, you know, I have to agree with you there um, also on that one. I think we both um, know who got snubbed. And I think Zach Levine also got snubbed just because he's working hard. I mean, I know the Bulls don't have the best record. I mean, I know they're trying. I mean, shout out, shout out to you, Beaks. I know that, you know, Bulls are your favorite team. And, um, you know, they're really trying. But, you know, they're they're almost there. I know Lori Markin's out right now. Um, but you know, they're really trying to try to make this playoffs and, you know, I have been making the playoffs this year, so I think it'd be really cool to see him and Zach Levine, you know, balling out. Um, and he's, he's trying to bring him to the playoffs. So let's, sure. let's hopefully we see it. Um, but yeah, I think Zach Levine should definitely have made, uh, the all-star team with everybody else. I mean, Giannis, you know, obviously oh, he deserved so it because his stats Maybe. are... 28, 11, and 6. So, I mean... It's almost triple-double. He's just a four-way on assist. Exactly. And then you have Ken Durant, who obviously deserved to make it. I mean, oh, MVP yeah. in, in the MVP talks, comeback player of the year as well. Averaging 29, 7, and 5. And uh, that was even before James Harden even showed up. So, you know, KD, you know, coming back, I mean, maybe... Avery, I saw a stat where it was saying that, like, he's averaging, like, better points, like better like shooting efficiency than he did like when he won his MVP back in uh, uh, 2015 OKC. yeah, yeah. OKC so I don't know I mean maybe you know Kevin Durant just uh we haven't seen all what he's able to do yet so I mean it's pretty cool That's you true. know he's averaging you know dang near 30 and you know seven and, you know and, you know he's close to you know a triple double as oh, well yeah. um and then Joel Embiid you know he definitely deserved to make it as well the best center um and the east um uh, you know damn near probably the whole league um, he's averaging 30.5 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Uh, ben Simmons addition all the assists on beat scoring and grabbing yeah. rebounds, you know. Um, so he's having a double-double, so it's awesome to see. You know, I th hopefully it's a good game. Um, I know a lot of players said, you know, they kind of didn't want to be there. They kind of wanted this time off. There wasn't going to be an all-star game at, like, the original, um, originally the start of the year, but now there is. So hopefully it'll still be a good game. Um and cool dunks, everything kind of going, at least kind of be a little competitive. Oh, yeah. Um, I know, it's, you know, this year's just wacky still with COVID and everything going on. But, um, you know, we're trying to make the most of it. So, super excited um, to watch the All-Star game. I know it's in March. I can't think of the date. Yeah, but I don't know the date. It's in March sometimes. So, I'll definitely be watching that. Because um, normally it's during um, Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, but it wasn't. So, it was very unfortunate. Um, but I'll still be out. I, I will still be watching the game, so I was super excited for that. Um, but now we're gonna wrap up the segment with talking about MVP um, and who our predictions are. Um, so right now, the players who are kind of battling out, like for the top two spots, are LeBron James and Joel Embiid. Um, so Joel Embiid is passing LeBron right now, um, and we just stated his stats as thirty. 11 and 3, which is, you know, crazy. You know, the center um, is still here, um, has not gone away. But LeBron is averaging 25, basically 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. So it's just kind of crazy to see LeBron's, what, 35, almost 36, something like yeah. that. Old Long. player, but, you know, spends a million dollars on his body, so it doesn't even look like he's 35 out there playing. And, um, you know, he's almost having a triple-double, so, like, you know, he could possibly win MVP this year, I think. You know, he he might deserve it. Um, maybe he should win. Uh, but those are our top two players um, that are fighting for it. And then third, um, you do kind of have Giannis, who I believe did win it last year, and he's averaging 28 and 11 and 6. So he's averaging double-double, um, but I just kind of don't see him winning it this year. Um, just, just don't see it, but... Um, definitely having a good year for sure. Um, and then, you know, we, you know, we definitely, we got to talk about Curry, you know, yeah. he's, he's having a great year, you know, who doesn't want to vote for Curry for MVP. And so he's averaging 29.9. So basically 35 and six. Um, so he's balling, um, without Clay Thompson, you know, he's trying to lead the Warriors to the playoffs and, um, I don't know. They're in the playoff. They're in the. They're in a playoff spot right now. I don't know if they still will be, um, in the playoffs, um, come playoff time, but we'll just have to see. But, 
Um, and then lastly, um, I just thought I'd bring him up because I don't know. Um, you know, he's he tore his Achilles last year, and like I said, he's just kind of balling like he did MVP form. You know, Kevin Durant averaging 29, 7, and 5. Um, and that was still without um, James Harden. And when Kyrie, you know, took his kind of hiatus for mental health and stuff like mm -hmm. that, so he wasn't really here. Um, and, you know, Kevin Durant's just some ball, and he's out right now, um, you know, just kind of resting and stuff like that, hamstring and this and that. So, um, you know, definitely don't want to keep playing him too much just because, you know, he's coming off his Achilles, so you want to keep him fresh. But, you know, Tyler, I'll go ahead and start with you again. Mm -hmm. um, we know uh, LeBron and Joel Embiid are fighting out um, for the top two spots as MVP, but do you see it being between one of them, or do you see, you know, Curry sneaking in there, or do you see Kevin Durant? Like, you know, what's your opinion? Mm -hmm. Who do you have winning MVP this year? Um, well, first, I'll definitely have to agree with, like, the Giannis. I don't think he's going to definitely be able to sneak another one in there. Um, I think Curry could definitely sneak up. I mean, his stats are godly. They're really. not lying. They're not lying at all. They're really good stats, like 35 and 6. That's, that's amazing. But I'm a big LeBron fan. I really like Joel. He's a very good center. I'm going to say LeBron's going to take it. I really think he's going to take it. I think he deserves it. He's balling at his age. He's he's keeping the Lakers. They're pretty shaky with their other players, but I think at the end of the day, I think LeBron's going to do it. Okay, one second here. He said LeBron, so he kind of asked this question before, but I meant to pull it up. How many MVPs does LeBron, if I can spell correctly, James have? So regular... Um, That's what I was thinking. He only has final MVPs. Yeah, you can go to 67 rows probably. I could have swore he has won. Yeah, so he won. He did win one. So, he's two. Won, so he won back in 2009. When he played he won back in 2009, 2010. He went back to back. And then he won 2012 and 2013 when he was on the Heat. So he's got four. Oh, my. He's got four regular season MVPs. I can't believe you said you're a LeBron fan. You didn't know he had. Yeah, I did not know that. That's Come on, Tyler. Bad. Come on, Tyler. That's terrible. That's okay. You know, well, we don't know everything. You know, we forget. But <laughs> so, so that's your pick. You think LeBron James yeah. is going to take home the MVP this year? This would be his fifth one. I think he can definitely do it for sure. He hasn't won one in a minute. No, well, he has not since 2013 season when he was on the Heat, <clears throat> and you know people have been saying he he's, he's been matching that this he's, year, and he's only been getting better. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's crazy. That's awesome. Um, man, that's kind of hard to argue with. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what's up, you would have to pick having 25, eight, and eight basically. Um, but I think I'm gonna. My one and two um, is going to be between Kevin Durant okay. and LeBron James. Um, just, I got to pull up Kevin Durant's stats again. So he's averaging 29. He's averaging eight and six. So a little bit um, less, I think, just on the assist. Yeah. Or, okay, he's averaging four more points um, and, like, one less rebound. Or, yeah, one less rebound. Um, but just the way KD's been playing, um, coming back from his Achilles and – I um, mean, he's just balling out and playing like his former self. And, you know, like I was just saying, when he's like balling as good as he was in 2015 yeah. when he did win his MVP. But, you know, LeBron's playing as good as he did back in 2013. You know, we haven't seen, maybe we haven't seen the best LeBron. Maybe we have. Who knows? I mean, it just seems to get better every year. So I think my pick would be, the, would be Kevin Durant, but I think it definitely is going to be close with LeBron James. For well, I think sure. they both, like at the end of the day, they both deserve it. KD coming back and just balling out like that, I think he can definitely deserve that. I think he'll definitely win Comeback Player of the Year. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's ever been a co-MVP. I don't think so. I'm not sure, but... Um, I don't think so. If they make it to the finals, he'll definitely have the finals MVP, in my opinion. Well, who? They, uh, for the Nets. Oh, for to, Kevin Durant. Okay. Oh, yeah. If he don't win the actual MVP for the league, he'll win finals MVP for sure. If oh. not Kyrie, but it'll be KD for sure. Okay, so do you think it's going to be... Okay, so now... So we already know that your pick is the Brooklyn Nets coming out of the East, which, I mean, we have having three All-Stars now. I mean... Yes. I don't know how you're going to be now. I mean, good luck, Giannis. Good luck to everybody <laughs> else. But, I mean, hey, I Thanks. mean... James Harden, Kyrie, and um, Kevin Durant, that's, that's a hard force to stop. Yeah. So who's coming out of the West then? Who's coming out of the West? Who's, who are the Brooklyn Nets going to beat for the NBA championship? 
I could say Lakers go back into it, but I don't know. Will Clay be healthy by the end of the season? Clay's not playing this season. Not at all. He's out. Because he tore his Achilles. I don't know. I could I, I could either see the Lakers or I could see an upset with Curry and Draymond. I think they could upset the Lakers and make it to the finals. Wow, that would be crazy. I think they could. Because everyone wants to say, you know, the Warriors aren't the team they used to be and they're not here anymore. They just but... need, I think by the end of the season, they'll adjust and they'll be able to play a little bit better because okay. they're just right now adjusting and Curry's obviously balling out. You don't need to adjust at all. No, <laughs> not at all. Wow, that is a hot take for sure. Holy crap, he just surprised me, guys. I did not, <laughs> I don't even think the Warriors are going to make the playoffs. I mean, to be really? honest with you, I really don't like. They didn't start off too hot at the beginning of the year, and now, like now, they're in, in the playoff contention. Yep. And I know Curry's balling out, well, but Nuggets. What are Nuggets? East. The Nuggets are in the West. West. I mean, West. Nuggets are up there too. The Nuggets. I mean, if Murray keeps balling out, Joe kicked. I mean, they got the to do it. And the Jazz are balling out. They have the best record in the league right now. Jazz. I just don't see them going. I, that's just me. They, they're. Not the best like playoff team in my opinion, but they're okay. they're a good regular season team. I love oh, for sure, absolutely. Donovan Mitchell. They're good coaching staff. They got really good like program for sure. But. I know Paul George isn't playing right now. I don't know what he's injured with or whatnot, but I know Ka- or Kawhi Leonard has been balling and yep playing lately. So so you know. so, okay? I so just you, don't think they have wow. it either because I just seen them play like last year in the playoffs, and I was just like, yeah, they're good. They have like the obviously Kawhi Leonard, but I just don't think they have it. Okay, wow. The Clippers are just chokers in my, in my opinion, but... I mean, hey, my... I mean, you're not lying, so... Yeah. But, wow, the Lakers or the Warriors. I yeah. Mean, that's, that's a hot take. But, hey, who knows? I mean, like I said, anything can happen, you know, that like you true. said. You know, AD is her right now. Um, he's not playing. Um, he kind of pulled his calf. Um, mm-hmm. Kind of strained his Achilles a little bit, which he kind of... He did hurt that during the finals. Um, so, hopefully... Hopefully my boy gets back into shape. Um, if he can stay healthy for the remainder of the season, I definitely see him being the Lakers and the Nets. Oh yeah, that'd um, be a great matchup. But if sure. not, I definitely, I definitely, I want to say the Nuggets. I mean, I'm hype on Jamal Murray. He did just drop fifty. Yeah. Um, didn't shoot a single free throw. That was insane, guys. It's happened in NBA history. First player ever. Couldn't believe it. Um, but um, if not, um, you know, if the Nuggets can just like pull it out and, you know, just come together as that like playoff team, cause you know, they've got a, a lot of great guys in that squad. Yeah, for sure. Um, but you know, I do have to agree with you though. The Nets, um, I caught it last year when Kevin Durant, uh, was going, I was like, Oh, they're going to win. Um, like you can go back on the videos. Like, I mean, I've just been telling everybody, I mean, you know, I'd love to see Lakers repeat, but you know, just with the way Kevin Durant's playing this year and Kyrie and. Yes, now, you, yes, Harden. you got James Harden. So now. I mean, that's just going to be hard to stop. So um, the Nets did play the Lakers the other day, but AD didn't play. Kevin Durant didn't still play. Beat the Lakers, didn't they? They did beat the Lakers. They did beat the Lakers. So, and LeBron James passed thirty-five thousand points. Insane. Top three now, right? Top three scoring leaders. He's, he's still been top three. Still, still top, top three. three. Yeah, because he passed Kobe. Because Kobe has thirty-three thousand and six hundred something. Yep. So he passed him a long time ago. So he's got Carl and. Kareem. So, I mean, he might pass Carl. Carl's got like 36 something. I think he's got like 36,908 or 88 or something like that. So, I don't see him. I mean, I don't really. I guess he could pass him this year, but probably next year. He's going to be balling when he's like 50. Exactly. So, that'd be kind of crazy. But um, definitely see the Nets going all the way. I mean, me and Tyler both do. So, put your money on it. May, you know, who knows? You know, I don't know if they're going to stay together. What's going to happen? I just think the only thing that would hurt traded. the Nets is selfishness because you got Kyrie, you got James, and KD. They're all wanting to shoot the last shot. They're either wanting it. It's just if they can work together and they're, they're not too selfish, I That's think they'll, true. They'll, they'll, they'll be perfect. Absolutely agree. I mean, you you can only win a championship um, as a team. You know? Yep. You, you know, you can't win it just as one player. Um, yep. you, you might be able to make it there, but, you know, you're just I, not I mean, gonna... they all have the – like the attribute to hit that shot they all do but it's just at the end of the day who has it and you can take it but. absolutely so that wraps it up um thank you guys for watching um on this episode of drunken's court um we might be back at you next week with another episode and i hope you guys like this one we'll see you